Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to go through the tilt shift effect which has just been added to Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. I'd like to thank first of all Kabachi01 over at Flickr for letting me use this image in the Creative Commons Flickr licensing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this image right here. I am on guided edit right here and then if you go over on the right hand side we have the tilt shift effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to undo this tilt shift effect so that you can see the original photo. So there's the original photo. The photos that usually work the best with tilt shift or as I call it the miniaturizing effect are ones that are taken kind of high and above the image and then kind of shot down and then usually there's some sort of a landscape a bridge or some sort of building so let's go ahead and take a look at this we're going to choose tilt shift right there and then we're going to add a tilt shift now right off the bat it gives you a generic tilt shift which is blurring the top blurring the bottom and then leaving a space in the middle and the reason why that looks like it's miniaturizing if we look at this over here on the right hand side there's the original image and then if I let go we blur it because models don't have a very good depth of field so that's why they don't look like they're real they look like they're miniature houses now if we wanted to modify this I could click on the modify focus area and I could go ahead and drag an area like that or I could drag it down a little bit more maybe I want it a little bit more into focus and that's supposed to make it look like it has the miniaturizing effect and then we can go over here under refine effect and then we could change the blur right here we could change it maybe a little bit more blur or we could give it a little bit more contrast right down there now the one thing that I notice is is that you really can't refine this a whole lot in guided edit so I'm gonna jump over into expert and show you what the guided edit did let's go ahead and hit expert as you can see there is the original image now the automatic guided expert made a background copy which is a control J and then added a little bit of a blur to it and then added a layer mask. So let's go ahead and try this from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. I'm so used to dragging those to the trash down at the bottom. This is the new Photoshop Elements 11 and the trash can and all these things are up at the top instead of the bottom. Now let's go ahead and start from scratch. There's the original photo we have right here. I'm going to do a Command J right there and that's just going to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to do a command J one more time and then I'm going to go to our filter menu and then I'm going to add a blur now let's go down over here under lens blur let's go ahead and blur this lens up like like that and as you can see we can do a more accurate one depending upon how fast your processor is but what we really want to do is we want to take this radius right here and as you can see if we slide it over to the right it's going to get it really blurry so now I like to keep mine on this particular effect at about 14 right there with got a nice blur and then we're just going to select OK so that's going to blur our image right there now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we are going to add a layer mask right there I'm going to click on that layer mask now the way the tilt shift worked we had to go over here we have to choose our gradient and then what we're going to do is we're going to choose a reflective gradient right here I have to flip my colors black and white right there and what we're going to do is we're going to draw on the area that we want to have in focus and we're going to draw a line up like that and as you can see this area right in here makes it look like these are little miniature buildings right here because I didn't blur the background a whole ton this now looks like a miniature so if you're going to add a tilt shift effect you can go into the guided mode right over here and you can use the standard tilt shift or you could go over here under expert and do it the way I did it and that is add a layer by using the command J then adding a second layer and then going over into our filter adding a blur and then adding a lens blur right over there now I used about a 14 now that depends upon what kind of picture you have last but not least we went over here and we added a layer mask we swapped our colors to black and white 
and then we went over here under the gradient tool using a reflective gradient and we painted a reflective gradient on there and voila we have a miniaturized city or a miniaturized wharf there. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. I hope you like that. Please give a comment. If you have any questions you can just send me a personal email through the YouTube email system. If you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers!